While the launch of Ubisoft's The Division was anything but spotless, the company is now reporting that the third-person shooter has broken company records for most copies sold in 24 hours. Previously, that record was held by Watch Dogs, which sold over 4 million copies in the first week alone. In a blog post on the Ubisoft page, CEO Yves Guimond posted that, quote, This is a monumentous day for Ubisoft, but more importantly, it marks the start of millions of players enduring engagement in the Division's game world, which we are confident they will love. Now that sales are high and initial impressions are good, Ubisoft Ubisoft's primary challenge in the upcoming months will be maintaining its rapidly expanding player base. In their quest to take over the mobile space, Nintendo has announced another Pokemon title in development for iOS and Android. In a collaboration with Japanese company Heroes Inc., a free-to-play strategy board game titled Pokemon Co-Master was announced on the Pokemon Company's Japanese blog. While Heroes Inc. has experience developing mobile titles, especially in the board game space, the company has no relation to DNA, the mobile gaming giant Nintendo partnered with early last year to expand its franchises onto the mobile space. This means their relationship, like all of Sarah's, is all but exclusive. Pokemon Pokemon Co-Master is set to launch in Japan this spring on both iOS and Android, with no word yet on a Western release. And last up, Zelda producer Eiji Onuma was featured in an interview with Famitsu to talk about the secretive Legend of Zelda Wii U project. Translated by Kotaku, Onuma told the magazine that, quote, the game has really taken shape and things have gotten easier. That means things are progressing well. And also, quote, please look forward to it because I think we'll be able to make something new like Ocarina of Time was. Ocarina of Time has long been the benchmark for Nintendo's innovation, marking the first large-scale adventure game to successfully make the leap into 3D. Recently, an internal financial document put the Zelda title in a holiday 2016 release slot, with potential for an NX release as well. The source of the leak proved credible after early reports of Pokemon Sun and Moon were substantiated by Nintendo's formal announcement. And that is it for today. Are you excited about Nintendo's upcoming projects? Let us know in the comments below, and if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed. And you can check out our GoFundMe and Teespring campaigns right now in the description below.